Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm creating this sunny, bronzy look in winter by minus 25, but here we go. Here I am. And I, I think I'm, yeah, I could like look like I, I'm back from holidays, but yeah. How did I get that? I used all my products from the BoxyCharm subscription box this month. Not sponsored, nothing. It's just like, I love that subscription box. I'm a member, it's been two years now that I get their their products and you pay $20 and you get, well, a bit more in Canada, but basically the idea is like, you pay $20 and you get products for a value that is up like to $100 or $130 sometimes, like when it's a very nice box. I really, really enjoy and I'm excited about the products I got this month. I'm also using the L'Oreal new infallible like 24 hour fresh wear foundation and some other products. So if you want to see how I created that look, which is super easy by the way, keep on watching. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and let's get started. So for today's video, it's gonna be a bit random. I'm gonna use a little bit of everything today. I got my boxy charm this month. This is how it comes in your mailbox and you have your dress at the back. And the theme for this month is Afterglow. Five products this month. So I'm just gonna go through it very quickly and I'm gonna use them today on top of our very little things on the side. So I got the famous Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I really like that mascara, it's been a while now. This retails for $24 and these are US price too. Then I got the Pretty Vulgar Bronze B Bronzer and it retails for $32, 32. I got the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer and it retails for $18. I don't smell anything or it's very subtle. It feels like, it smells like cream, a day cream. So I just had a bit of rose oil on my face right before. Feels very nice so far. It's funny, every time I use a, a pore minimizing primer, I kind of get red. It doesn't last, but well, it feels really nice. Is usually where I have little pores. If you watch my recent video, I was talking about the Farsali Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Primer Serum. I'm really impressed with that one. It does smooth your pores and gives a, a nice, like, smooth base for your makeup. But we'll see. This one feels very nice when you apply it. Uh, it I have a feeling now, like, I can see, like, a blurring effect. So for foundation, I'm going to use the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I bought the shade 455. I've been using it for more than a week now, maybe two weeks. I'm truly impressed with that foundation. I think it's so pretty, it's so beautiful. It would be the perfect dupe for the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And I really like that sponge too, so I believe it's L'Oreal. It has a very nice coverage, but the finish, it looks like skin. Got a um, Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. So this is the new one. I have a Boom Boom Cream and that everybody calls Bum Bum and it does feel very hydrating. So it's a nice way like to try this product before buying, committing to the full size. Then I got the New Stix Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in the shade Copper Foil. So I'm gonna create an eye look based on that. Retails for... $24. So this is all I got in my boxy charm this month and I'm really really pumped. I'm really excited. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. I'm not gonna set. I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> I think the skin looks really nice. It looks very natural. It looks like skin. You know what, I'm gonna do my eyebrows quickly. For today, what do I wanna use? Should I use something? Oh yeah, you know what? I got in my Ipsy bag something different. I got the Benefit Give Me Brow in the shade number three. So I actually never used that. So we're gonna try it today together. So Ipsy bag, you have like usually two, maybe two full-size products and then minis. 
but it gives you a nice opportunity once again to try things on well, it looks like it's a good color so a little before and after here just to show you look at that it is thickening that shade free is perfect okay i don't know if they're perfectly symmetrical it's kind of hard to fix but very easy to use and uh well it's quite fast actually when you're in a hurry well it gives me like some serious eyebrows but you know what we're gonna clean a tiny bit under pick up a bit of my concealer make it look a tiny bit more sharp onto bronzer well i'm gonna try the pretty vulgar one you get 5.7 grams and this looks like a really promising color so i'm looking forward to see if it's blendable so this is a vegan matte bronzing powder that gives your skin a natural radiant looking finish enriched with ultra smooth oil-free lightweight pigments this bronzer allows for easy blending and perfect coverage very nice like perfect sun-kissed shade doesn't come with a mirror that's the only little uh, downside but so far color is good pigmentation is good use a tiny bit more for highlighter i'm going to use my natasha denona super glow the shade light medium it's been a while it's so funny on how on top of certain foundations your highlighter looks way more beaming than others. For blush, I fell in love with the Buxom New Wanderlust blushes. So I have a shade Seychelles that I showed you already on other videos and I just got the shade Dolly. Jesus, is hard to get out. I really like those blushes. It smells so good. Mm, smells like holidays and that's a theme all the the shade names are destinations that's the shade dolly which is a bit more pink than seychelles that is more like a nude one they're very pigmented look at that so pigmented oh but it's so pretty and i forgot but usually i use my duo fiber brush with it because it's so pigmented but well we're gonna go for it today very blushed look oh my and this is so like shiny you know it's like a healthy looking little blush i'm gonna end on my nose the formula i will really suggest to try but i don't know why i use that brush usually i use um this kind of brush and <laughs> it works a bit better just because it is so pigmented so i'm just gonna go over top with my sponge just to soften the edges a tiny bit tiny bit mm, but it gives me holiday vibes like i have a feeling i just oh it's so pretty buxom did such a good job with their blushes try them on like i want all of them <laughs> so i'm gonna try the nude sticks and then we'll see if we need maybe you know what actually i'm gonna use the pretty vulgar bronzer as an eyeshadow I didn't set my lid on purpose so just because I think it works better if it's a tacky base. So I'm just placing the bronzer in my crease. That's the thing. If you go on holidays and you don't want to bring like tons of eyeshadow palettes, just bring your bronzer and maybe a eyeshadow topper. Very pretty color. I'm gonna go on my lower lash line with it. Okay, so now we're gonna try that Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in the shade Copper Foil. So nice, I'm just gonna swatch it for you. Look at that. I'm just gonna go on my eyelid with it. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm just gonna zoom you in. Look at that. And I'm just gonna blend a tiny bit right there. Such, such a pretty color, that copper foil. 
I haven't used new sticks a lot. Like I bought that Melissa La Torre collab and I didn't show it on YouTube. But it's very nice. I want to try like their blushes, their their bronzer. The easiest thing, put it in your purse if you do, didn't have time and you can just do that in like five minutes. Oh, that looks so nice. So I quickly tight line uh, under my lashes with a black liner. I'm gonna go, actually I'm gonna do like something a bit matchy matchy. I'm gonna do, go with Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Double Life. And we are doing something very bronzy today. I'm actually gonna go a little bit in the corner with it. And I wanna pick a bit of my highlighter and put it in the inner corner. And actually, well, why not? Since I did that, like, up. You know what, I'm gonna keep it quite simple. I'm gonna curl my lashes, my Shiseido Trusted Eyelash Curler. Time for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I started, but my camera did not record it. So this is how the brush looks like. Interesting little shape, and let's see if it's as good as I remember. Okay. It gets a bit clumpy, but the kind of clumpiness I like. Before and after for you. It is lengthening, I think. Let's see, that's my lashes. And lashes. Different look from what I get with my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Oh, that's really nice. For lips, uh, I'm gonna use Revlon. So I talked about that one before, but this one is a new color. And I really fell in love with, um, I have to stop saying fell, fell in love. I really, really uh, like this formula. It's kind of a, a lip tint, you know. Uh, but it's quite pigmented. HD Sand, number 700. Mm, I really like that color too. And it feels very nice on the lips. You can, you know, easy to apply. It smells good. It feels hydrating. Revlon, I really have a feeling Revlon is like stepping up the game too. What do you think? This is the final look and I really, really like it. I love the foundation. I think this is a really good drugstore option. It's a bit up there for drugstore foundation. It's I paid $20, I think something like that, Canadian dollars for this. But it's so good, so good. It lasts all day. Uh, it looks good. The coverage is great. It looks like skin. It's a really good foundation. So I highly encourage you to go and try it. The concealer, I really like it. It's one of my favorites like lately. Uh, the Buxom blushes, that too. I encourage you to go and like pick a shade and it's so pretty. Just keep in mind it's so pigmented, so pigmented. That new stick, so I'm gonna zoom you in. Look at that, that eye look. It was so easy to create, so fast. No fuss, but it has like a very nice impact, like a very nice, you know, like uh, it looks like you worked a bit. <laughs> you put some thoughts on it, but no, it's, it was literally like the stick, a little bit of my bronzer in the crease, a little bit of highlighter in the corner here, a bit of eyeliner and mascara, and it's fast, very fast. So this bronzer, I'm really, really impressed. I think it looks beautiful on skin. Uh, it blends very easily indeed and this well smell and see if you like the smell or not well the primer the no pore blend primer i'm gonna have to wait and see so far it looks really good on my nose i have a feeling here i could have used a bit more but i'm gonna zoom you in so yeah it looks really good on the nose like right here usually i have like little pores uh, that are showing up a bit more and here, I can see a, a tiny bit here, but 
I used like that illuminating blush, so it might be why too. The mascara, well, I'm, I'm happy to have uh, tried it again because I forgot how good it is. It's really nice, like it's lengthening. I can actually see like from far in my mirror over there, but it looks really long. So um, if you don't know about subscription boxes, um, have a pick. There's lots out there, I know. I really like BoxyCharm. I usually get it like mid-month, so I don't know if it's the same for everybody. And uh, Oh, and that little brow thing, actually, it was so easy to do my brows. I have to work a bit more and practice a bit more with it, but very nice too. So yeah, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit random. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can also follow me on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. Leave comments down below. Tell me what you would like to see next. If, you, if there are some products you would like to hear about, like have a review about it. Let me know down below. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.